introduce you to David Temmott, affectionately known as Tebo to his friends and colleagues. Uh, David has been a journalist and an analyst for probably more years than I've been alive um, and uh, started his career selling newspapers on the streets of Paris. This is true, but I don't tell anybody that. Thank you. I'll drop you in it in a minute. This is Alison. Alison's a big cheese in a PR company. She's Marcom's whiz, has been for about 17 years, and her little dirty secret is that she thinks that she's still an 80s disco queen. I and am an 80s disco queen. Who am I to argue? Now, the point of these, this set of videos is that um, Tom Frensky, you may not have heard of him, but you can look him up. You could, he's probably on Wikipedia, Frensky. He says that every company is a media company now. And I don't think you can argue with that. And I think a lot of, a lot of people uh, reach their publics, reach their stakeholders through journalists, and that's fine. Um, I've got to say that because I am a journalist, but no, it's true, and Alison's PR, so you know, even more reason um, to want to do it through the media. Um, but some people want to get stuff out there quickly, or they want their spokespeople to become na names, recognised, trustworthy, all that kind of stuff. So they have to write directly um, for their publics uh, without going through the media. So we're going to be talking about business writing. and. The writing will then be either published or, or yeah, by a third party, which is good because it gives uh, credibility, or by their own company, which can be good as long as they learn to, you know, the people learn to trust them, um, or, or it can be used in speeches and that kind of thing. So business writing is absolutely the focus. And Alison is now going to ask me some grotty questions. I don't know what they are yet. And let's see how we get on with that, answering them. Number one. So what would you say is the most important thing um, when anyone's writing any kind of article? If there was one thing that you, one piece of advice you would give, what is it? One piece of advice, okay. Know your reader and what they will value. Is that one or is that two? You can get away with it. All right, thank you very much. So that's, that's, that's the main thing. You, uh, if you don't know the reader, you cannot begin to focus so you're, you're, you're floundering right from the word go. I would say you've also got to know your subject because if you don't know your subject, you can't write in the first place. That's, that really is two now, isn't it? <laughs> um, know what gives them value. Whiffed. Now, I've never heard anybody say whiffed before. It's but whiffed? Well, I've just said it, haven't I? What's in it for me? Ah! Oh, whiffed. I thought that was whiffing. Well, I, how can it be whiffing? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Ah, I know why I said whiffed, and I'm going to stick to it. What's in it for them? You have to know what's in it for them. So whiffed triumphs. It does. Well done. <laughs> Please the reader.